I've been working on this guy on and off for three years where I can change certain things to make the pacing feel better and I love editing as much as I love writing, like I love the whole process of it. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It has been a long time since I feel like I've sat down to vlog and to properly make another Project Teacup update video. I know you guys have been itching for another one. I essentially went to Japan last year, at the end of last year, and I wanted to film a bunch of vlogs and get through that content. And now here I am properly back into making writing vlogs and reading vlogs and all of my normal stuff. Today Today we're going to be speaking all about Project Teacup. This is going to be <laughs> like a pretty laid back day in my life. I've made a lot of really big effort videos recently. I did the Neil Gaiman video which was like God knows, it was like four hours of, of raw footage. The first 10 minutes of that video alone was like eight hours of editing. So today is gonna to be a very laid back vlog and I'm essentially going to be working on Project Teacup, which is the novel I'm currently working on and filling you guys in on where that's sitting and just showing you what a day in my life on a very relaxed writing day generally looks like. First of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a cup of tea. Where's my kettle? There. No. Yes, no, it's behind the air fryer. We're gonna grab a cup of tea and I can fill you guys in on where we're currently sitting with Project Teacup. brewing, my kitchen is clean, didn't break my rice cooker thankfully. Let's grab the supplies that we need in order to write today. I need to grab my manuscript, the draft, the like big obnoxious printout I did of draft two and then set up my tablet and do all of that stuff. So let's do that. to go let me run you up to speed on what's been happening on project teacup i feel like it's been such a long time since i last filmed a project teacup video that i don't really know where to start with this so basically i'm just going to give you like the briefest rundown in case you're new here hello my name is christy i'm currently working on an adult fantasy novel which is going by the alias of project teacup i do have a title for this book i am absolutely certain what i want the title to be and i'm really quite happy with it but we're, we're still going by project teacup just as its code name because i am a nervous nelly and i have no idea how much i should be sharing or shouldn't be sharing with this project because i'm going to try and get it traditionally published when it is complete. I finished draft two two days before we left for Japan and essentially I tried to film a vlog, a Project Teacup vlog of me finishing the very last bit of draft two but here's the thing you guys, it did not, it did not go very well. <laughs> I was really, really stressed. I had so much work to do in the lead up for us like going on holiday to Japan. I basically worked until the second we got on that plane. And so I only just managed to get the second draft done and, and kind of had a mental breakdown halfway through making that video, but that's okay. We've scrapped that footage. We're on to filming a new video. I'm gonna put this down on this. I'll keep playing with it. Um, so we were in Japan in November and December. I took a little bit more time off of writing over Christmas because I spent time with family and took a proper break because I haven't had a holiday in like three years and I got I needed it. And then in January, I printed out this mammoth draft, this huge, enormous boy. Look how, look how bloody enormous that is. That's like 200 pages. I mean, the book is like 400 pages, but like double-sided on a hundred GSM for you. 
it's enormous. I started going through and editing it and then I spent most of January doing like little research bits, reading things that I needed to. I am now finally back to working on the book. I'm on draft three and I'm currently sitting on chapter to nine. I haven't been working on draft three for very long. I really wanted to let this second draft sit for a while because I really wanted to make sure I gave myself the space to be able to see the things that are wrong with it. And I do have a few, not not big structural changes, but big enough that it, it's gonna it's gonna take some reworking. We're actually coming up on to some of those big ones soon. And so I'm getting a little bit nervous because like that's gonna be a lot of work and it's gonna be a lot, I don't know how long it's gonna take. Essentially my, my plan, my plan has been to get five chapters edited per week. This restructure, as I said, I'll, I'll talk more about it later, but that's gonna take a while to do. So I think that's probably gonna throw off my quota. However, if I do get five chapters edited per week, I would in that instance have the book finished by the end of March, and then I can finally, finally put this book in front of my partner, Tyler. So I haven't shared the book with anyone. I've shared the title and essentially the blurb with Tyler. So the, the little piece of like marketing text that I would send to agents to try and get it published. Tyler knows what that is, but he doesn't know anything about the story beyond that. Like he doesn't know the characters' names. He doesn't, he doesn't know what's gonna happen in the book. And so I've been working on this guy on and off for three years. I had the idea for this book back in 2020, but didn't have time to write it yet because I was working on a year in Tokyo. And so I've been sitting on this thing for a really long time. And so it's gonna be huge for me to finally get this book in front of someone else so that they can read it and they can let me know <laughs> if they think it's okay. I have been sitting my draft copy open so I can see the physical notes that I wrote. There are some digital notes I have on here as well. And essentially I'm just working through one chapter at a time, editing, changing things. Currently sitting at around 14,000 words. I need to get the book down to about 100K. So that's a lot of things to refine and remove, which is good because it means that you make a more concise story. I feel like it's going well. now at my desk. Welcome to my little office nook. I have just finished chapter nine actually. That was that was quite quick. I'd already done a little bit of work on it before today and it wasn't a very big chapter so somehow chapter nine's already done. That's really really good progress. My plan for the rest of the day is to get chapter 10 done and then I have some other things I need to do with the book as well. There we go. 21st of February. Let's tick chapter nine off. And now that I've ticked chapter nine off of my to-do list on Notion, this brings me to the sponsor of this video, which is actually Notion. So I've been using Notion for like two years now. I love this platform to bits. I've used so many different task management platforms and I love Notion by far. So when Notion reached out to me to sponsor this video, I got really, really excited. And I am now gonna be showing you guys some of the ways that I use Notion to structure all of my tasks and to make my life easier and calmer and more organized. I'm a very visual learner and I'm also a person who's overwhelmed very easily. So for me, having everything being clear and concise and well laid out is super duper important for me. So this is my February template I put all of my to-do lists and my tasks for the entire month in one place. Here we have February. I have a little widget here that tells me the weather, which is nice. I have these photos I've taken that make me feel inspired. We have my major goals on the left-hand side. So at the beginning of every month, I will sit down and write my list of major goals. If I want to add another to-do on here, I just press this button. I've got my calendar here and it's got all of its little tags. I really just do the big important things. So I tend to have my usual 
YouTube videos listed here, my big Patreon videos, and so we've got a Wyvern tier video that's going up tonight. I think actually this one is gonna go up on the 27th, just so I'm not annoying everyone over on Patreon and just bombarding them with videos. So that's my calendar. I set out this whole section, kind of like it's like a week to page journal, and I have these little toggles here so that I can open them up or close them down so that once I'm done with everything for a day, I can just shut it and I don't have to look at it. Say, this was too much work for me to do, I'm not gonna do it today, and then I don't think I'm gonna get to it for the rest of the week. I can just dump it in here. So that is my monthly board. This is the one I put the most work in. So Notion is entirely free. That's one of the things I love about it. It's incredibly accessible. It's very easy to use. And if you want to try out Notion, I have a free template linked in the description down below. So please feel free to click on that, give it a go, see if Notion works for you. It's a wonderful platform and I couldn't recommend it more. Now that I'm all finished with chapter nine and I have everything ticked off in Notion, I'm going to go and grab some lunch. The thing is as well that I don't mind me just sort of crawling through our hallway, which is the only place that we have to <laughs> dry our, um, these aren't even clothes. That one's a towel and the rest of those are microfiber cloths. We're not allowed to dry clothes on the balcony. It doesn't matter, it's fine. I don't know if you guys have this thing too, but if I'm trying to concentrate on work and I have something that I know I need to do really soon, it makes it harder for me to concentrate. So rather than sitting down for another like half an hour or 40 minutes and then getting up to make lunch, I'm just gonna make lunch now and then get back to work and hopefully buckle down for a really good, solid working spurt. I need to do chapter 10, as I said, and then I need to work on this plan for my restructure for chapters 10 to 15. So let's go get some lunch and then worry about all that stuff afterwards. <laughs> away on draft three for quite a while now. It is 3.50 p.m. The draft is sitting at 113,533 words, so we have made quite a lot of headway. It's interesting that when you're doing drafting, it's a lot harder to understand the progress you've made because obviously when you're trying to reduce words rather than increase them, the progress you're making isn't always linear. Sometimes even though my overall goal is to cut down on words, I do actually have to add them. But we've cut out quite a bit, which is really good. Chapter 10 was quite a long chapter. From chapter 10, as I mentioned to chapter 15, I now have a bit of a interesting situation that I have to deal with. So essentially what's happened is from the, the so the, the book has little arcs of different things that happen, like in chapter 10 something happens and then something else happens in like chapter 13, but I'm starting to think that the thing that happens in chapter 13 needs to be moved up to chapter 11 because otherwise this little bit of the story is gonna feel too dull. And it's really important to me that this story feels fun, it feels engaging the whole way through and I'm, I'm trying really hard to pay attention to those story threads and, and to sort of juggle what bits really push the story forward and what bits are really going to keep the reader guessing and keep them excited about the story. And so I think there's a little bit of dull space between chapter 10 and chapter 13-ish. So I think I do need to move a bunch of stuff up. However, because the stuff that happens in chapters 11 and 12 is stuff that's important, I can't get rid of it entirely. I need to push that back and then restructure some stuff or otherwise find ways that I can kind of problem solve this so that I'm not adding loads of words. Chapter 10 isn't quite done. I still have some stuff to do on chapter 10. However, I'm gonna know more about the stuff I need to do with chapter 10 once I do this restructure. So I'm gonna go ahead and tick chapter 10 off my list for today. Like as I've done as much of chapter 10 as I can. And now I'm gonna start doing my little my little fiddly bits with the restructure. Actually, I'll show you guys the document I've been using. Hello, uh, for obvious reasons, this whole document basically is, is going to be blurred. It's gonna be a little bit annoying. There'll be little blurry bits going on, but this is the spreadsheet I'm currently using so that I can have a bird's eye view of the whole story. As I mentioned earlier, when I spoke about Notion, for me, it's really important to have everything sitting in such a way that 
that I can see a whole snapshot in one go. Like I don't like having loads and loads of documents sitting with different notes and different things. I find that really annoying and confusing and if the thing isn't easy to read and see on one page, I will never ever use it. So this is the document I'm kind of making as I go along and do draft three. So here we have chapter, here we have the little arcs of the story that's happening. Like this isn't really relevant to the actual structure of the plot, but this is how I see the plot. The summary, so I have a one sentence summary of every single chapter, so I know what the chapter's trying to do. I've got the word count that it was for draft two. I've got the word count that it is for draft three. The number of words in the chapter is going to affect how quickly the reader reads that chapter. And obviously, you know, if it's a more exciting chapter, the reader's gonna read it faster, but it's important for me to know how many words are in each chapter because then I can see how bloated certain bits of the story, where I need to focus like more of my work. That's most of it. On this little tab here, just down here is a timeline. So I've got a timeline of when certain characters were born and when their backstories happened and when everything, like I've got like when the seasons changed and what month it is. And I've got all this stuff sort of laid out very visually as a timeline because I find it much easier to lay everything out visually. So this is the whole book. This is like me trying to break down the story. This yellow bit here is uh, the whole bit that I'm needing to fix essentially like at this I'm gonna have to fix so much of the rest of the book as well but this one bit specifically I'm sort of trying to look at it holistically and seeing where I can change certain things to make the pacing feel better and to make the book more fun and exciting and engaging <laughs> so for whatever reason I don't know my brain being the way it is I feel like I need to write out this restructure by hand. I did just do a whole Neil Gaiman video where I whinged about not liking writing in my notebook. I like writing in my notebook from the perspective of world building and writing notes and doing brainstorming. I hate doing those things on the computer. Like I, for some reason, that's a very tactile thing for me. I need to do that by hand, but the actual typing of a story needs to be on the computer. I, it's, it just, I don't know why my brain works that way, but it does. So I'm gonna get my notebook out. I'm gonna do some planning for this restructure and then hopefully I can make a pathway forward for this section of the story. It is now 6.40 p.m. and I am done with work for today. I did a lot of writing work, but I also had some Patreon editing stuff I needed to do. I'm doing a lot of hand movements today for some reason. I ended up finishing my day with some video editing. I just posted to Patreon how to read more critically, my tips and tricks for understanding literature without needing a degree. This was a really big video for Patreon actually. I filmed for like over an hour for this one because there was so much stuff to get in. I think the video ended up being like 30 something minutes long, but that's all done now and that is live over on Patreon on the Wyvern tier. And yeah, all of my work tasks are done for today. I got the kind of one page plan of what I wanted to do with the restructure of chapters 10 to 15 written down in my notebook and then I started working on it. It's going to be quite a work in progress. I, I do think it's possible that this will mean that I can't edit five chapters a week on average. Um, but it I basically, I won't know until I get in and start working with the chapters and seeing how I can problem solve certain things. It's this funny challenge that I absolutely love. I love trying to achieve all these little goals within a certain number of words and I, I love editing as much as I love writing. Like I love the whole process of it and you know even though I love this process it is challenging. It is very creatively draining and it has been a big week in terms of video editing stuff and writing stuff and it's only Tuesday so that's that's where I am right now. However I am so excited and I'm so happy because I feel like the story is getting to the point where it's quite strong and I I can tell like I've got 
terrible imposter syndrome. Like every five days or so, I oscillate between, oh, I think this is okay, and this is the worst thing ever. It's never gonna get published. It's terrible. I've done a bad job, blah, 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 blah. However, I do really strongly believe that this story is much much stronger than the last story I worked on and so I at this stage on this day I feel really good about it so that's very positive and I do feel like it's going to be done if not by the end of March then at least like early this year done in terms of draft three and then from there from that like end of March deadline we'll see how we go I'll form a plan on what I want to do in terms of further drafts or like starting querying we'll see what the pathway is going to be but I won't know until this draft of the story is finished. Thank you so incredibly much for watching this vlog. Please let me know if there's anything specific you want me to talk about in future Project Teacup vlogs. If there's any part of the process you're really interested in that I can tell you guys about, I would love to be able to share that with you. Also, I want to say an enormous thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting my channel and for being the reason why I have so much time for writing, for being the reason why YouTube is my job. Without you guys over on Patreon, I would still be working full time in marketing. So thank you very much for your support. If you want to check out any of the bonus videos and bonus content we have over on Patreon, please feel free to do that. There's a link in the description down below. Take care everyone and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.